There he is, my number one player. You ain't cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya? What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. I was, and you know, I did. I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit, but JB, man, the smoking is real bad. Real, real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly, okay? And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoked, nigga. You know what it's like. Why don't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB, appreciate all you doing. Just one more job with me, and I promise this is gonna be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. So you wanna hit? Hell no. Nah. What happened to you, Tanya? You used to be a good girl. Even good girls need some sugar on their cereal. Days get long on the block. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. Why don't you get out the hood? Away from JB. I love that nigga, man, but he bad news. What, like you? Like Tanisha? Find me some rich lawyer or doctor? That ain't real. Maybe JB ain't going places. But you know who he is? If he went his ass to work, that'll be a start. Aye. Show me how good you got since last time. Boulevard. Over. We got it. Copy that, vehicle 29. Driver's badly injured. Phone box on the scene. Car needs moving to the nearest auto shop. 10-7. 10-7. 10-4. you don't talk numbers, baby. Unless you talk in 420, then we got a date. Uh, 10-1. You're breaking up. Over and out. Man, ain't this like the fifth time? Ain't there any other fools out there you can guilt trip into working for no pay? You in the groove now, Franklin. And you and JB was homies before you had hair on your balls. Yeah, so you keep telling me. I still remember that time your grandpa caught you and JB slinging cigarettes. <laughs> Chased you all over South LS. <laughs> yeah, man, shit, that was a good hustle while it lasted. You still kicking it with that shit talker Lamar? Oh, yeah, shit, I'm stuck with that fool forever. We didn't have much, but we did it right on Form Drive. an expert now. There it is. Okay. Fool on the radio said drop it at the repair shop. I heard that. Over. I think there's one on Adams Apple Boulevard. I'd say you about earned a tow job of your own. Come on, Tanya. I told you you better than that. Don't get all high and mighty. You know different. You ain't afraid to use what you got to get paid. Man, what are you talking about? I heard about you rent boying on the side, selling yourself. What? That's what people are saying. You know Sharonda's cousin, Kiera's nephew, Deontay? Skinny kid with the big head? They call him golf club. No, I don't know Sharonda's cousin, nephew. He saw you with a rich white boy. I ain't judging. <laughs> 
I mean, we all got bills to pay. Man, that's so messed up, I don't even know where to start. Crackhead-ass grapevine really outdone they self this time. Just drop that bad boy in the parking lot, and we done. That should do it. Can you give me a ride back to the yard? Like I don't got nothing else better to do than drive your ass around. JB will make it up to you as soon as he gets back on his feet. Yeah, I heard that one before. We'll get some drink, get some smoke, get some good food, do it right. Me, you, JB, Tanisha, if you want. Now that ain't happening. Okay. You, me, JB, and that clown Lamar Davies, old school. If you ain't too busy rent boying, that is. <laughs> well, fuck you. Solid, Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. gonna start saying we are item. Answers no. I can't holler at my boy now. Thought you might want to know, being a high roller and all, they finally put the towing company up for sale. You know the business can make you some good paper. And you can keep JB on as a driver when he gets his head straight. Shit, I think about it. Look around, okay.
I'm over here if you need me. Hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Plates. Raul at the taxi depot. A young lady just called. She says she wants someone discreet and professional. Sounds urgent. There ain't many of our drivers fit that description. Have you got the time to take it? All right, where's the pickup? Great. Uh, the pickup's on Fudge Lane in uh, Boro Life. She'll be waiting outside. Take me to the Central Los Santos Medical Center off Capitol Boulevard. You got it. You okay? Are you sick? No. 
I'm gonna surprise my fiance. He's a doctor there. Man, what is it with girls and doctors? I've been asking myself the same question. I just read on his email the son of a bitch is leaving work to meet up with some slut. You read his email? He's marrying me. You shouldn't have anything to hide. And lucky I did. All right, we're here. Wait, there he is. Okay, I want you to follow him, but don't make it obvious. You know like they do in the movies. You sure about this? I want to see where this bitch lives. Look her in the eye, let her see my banging body. <laughs> okay. That's it, hang back just enough. When he was flunking out of med school, I was the one who was there for him. Look at him like a dog in heat. It's disgusting. You don't see him in such a hurry to come home to see me. What would have happened if I had threatened to cut myself if he didn't give me the password to his email account? A patient. That's cheating code if I ever saw it. I'm not stupid. Do I sound stupid to you? Uh, what are you gonna do when you get there? Oh, I'll think of something. Don't you worry about that. To think I co-signed for that card, now he's using it to cheat on me. That cheating, lying, weasel of a man. I was just at my mom's place. She always said he'd stray as soon as he qualified. Too good for El Burro Heights now, huh? So he done this before? Oh, he must have done. He's hardly ever home. He's constantly working late. He's always tired. Ain't that the deal when you a doctor? He tries to pull the wool over my eyes, tell me he loves me. But I see through his games. I've seen the way he looks at women on TV. We used to have sex every morning. Now, it's like he's too scared to even touch me. I bet she's a fat pig who demands it in the ass because that's the only way she can... He's pulling into that apartment building and I see her. She's there waiting for him, the bitch. Got him. He never saw us once. Okay, that skank is mine. Kayla, what are you doing here? This is her? This is a slut you've chosen over me? She's a patient of mine. Hey, come on, are you crazy? Put the gun down.
I'm almost crazy! Don't push your luck, buddy. Hey, how's it going, home? I want to do Hamlet. Instead, I'm standing here in skin-tight clothes looking like an idiot. Life sucks! Looks good. All right, thanks, eh? Later. Just go. Hi, uh, we don't do butterflies on the ankle. Yeah, something unique out of a catalog. You know, you're not much of a bleeder. That's a masterpiece. I'm good. That's art right there. You should see some of the sleeves I've done. You took that well. No refunds. Yep, looks good. Can't go wrong with any of these. Come see us again. You know, you're not much of a bleeder. Tell your friends where you got that. That's a masterpiece. I'm good. Hello there. Thank you. Can't go wrong with that. I'm using this money for drugs. Later.
mom how much I gave you. Never. about my fee. It's a little high, but you get what you pay for. 40%. No negotiation. Oh, no. I want 60%. No less. <sighs> All right? Hey, you, you drive a hard bar, okay. kid. <laughs> Great to have you on board. Way to go. <laughs> Don't touch that. All right, right. Oh, gee, okay. We called the crew of guys that do crime scene cleanup to get all the... Oh. Not happy. Bumped you by. No go vodka. The new go. Takes my piss. Nobody takes our pee pee. But we finally got the place cleaned up. Yeah, almost. Oh. After all this women's work, it was time to get down to business. Ruth, I'd like to pitch my new world. Okay. I infiltrated China.
Hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. <sighs> Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man, I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. The files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping Bring it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man.
You invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what's all to shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. This is crawling the ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what, tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. I got this bulldozer should make an impact. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good advantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. Frank, we'll attack on your signal. All right, let's do this. Laying down fire.
Bring out Lamar! We'll go away! Sniper fire! It's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. There's more. I'm coming. Come on, boy. Move it, guys. Come on. Homie, you all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or a get-killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the piss in. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even... You know, at the time, I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you been, uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me. 
and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit at yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. Guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing VAD, man. Why don't you sign me a few dollars or something, you know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here to say. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a 
little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the poor house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. You supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Oh, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, playa? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something, or invade some fucking country. No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all ass. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Lost an ass, nigga. 